woke up in a stranger's bed With pins and needles in my head And the clock ticking off the wall Oh yeah, oh yeah I don't even know myself My name is Daniel Lekleski. I'm the production manager and monitor engineer for All Time Low and also the owner of Soundworks Productions who is providing the audio for this tour we are on. So the setup I have here is a Pro 2C. Uh, I was explaining a little earlier, uh, I love this desk because it's nice and lightweight. We can throw it up uh, on top of the rack with one guy. Uh, I don't have to bother stagehands all day. They can stay with lighting and set design every day. I can do my own thing and kind of wire the stage myself. Uh, so we got the Pro 2C up here, feeding uh, into my DL251 down here, feeding right out to in-ears. Uh, Ben's on full in-ear rig. We don't have any wedges on stage. I do stereo side fills. Mainly guest artists come on. I have that as uh, some support for them and our bass player like a little low end on stage. Snake systems right below that. Very simple rig. Patch, power, everything. In ears are right inside this one rack. Uh, so yeah, we got two racks up on stage handling all of audio for front of house and monitors. Uh, signal wise are connected. There is an analog splitter between the two. Uh, now that they have the new box, the DL231, uh, I want to switch to that for the next tour. So we could do a total digital split, uh, no analog patch needed besides what's happening on stage. But right now, it's two 251 sitting in here, one in each rack, analog splitter right between the two. Uh, and then Cat 5 going out the front of house, nice uh, four pair of Cat 5 going out there with spare line just in case it's ever needed. Yeah, I, I actually find it very easy. Uh, when I'm overseas, a lot of times I can't find a Pro 2 C. So I'm on a Pro 2 and the other eight faders are never even touched. They're just playing all the time. I built my show around pop groups and uh, DCA spills. So I could just hit the button, the eight faders flow out that I need and it's all good. Nothing is in groups of more than eight for my whole show. So it's very easy for me to get around. Workflow is super fast. I mean, all my mixes are right there. Anything I need channel wise is right here. I, I never have an issue getting anywhere. There's no depth into the console really. It's all right on the, the first layer pretty much after you hit a button. Effects wise, I, I love the whole effects rack. I use verbs on my drum kit. Uh, verb on my lead vocal, verb on my backing vocal. I also use the multi-band compressor for my lead singer and it's really brought him to really love his vocal on stage to the point where when he's in the studio he kind of tries to look for the same sound that he gets in his ears. And I just, I love the pop groups. They make my life so easy. The VCA spill, or DCA spill, sorry, make my life so easy. I just hit a button, spills out what I need. I need my drums hit it, I need my overhead hit it. It's right there on that layer, super easy to find. There's no scrolling through pages. Uh, that's really just been a, a blessing in modern world for me to have that. I guess I could touch also Matrix Mixer was awesome. Uh, that makes it super easy for me to feed all the tech mics I have on stage into that as well as my cue is fed into that. So no matter what's happening or whose mix I'm on, the band doesn't have all the tech mics and we have a, six tech mics on stage. We have a lot of tech mics. Uh, so if I'm listening to my lead singer, someone's talking on a tech mic trying to get a hold of me, I won't be able to hear them because I'm on his mix, not on the tech mix. But if I route, I route it all routed through the matrix mixer. So all that goes in there and that feeds my output into my cue mix. So no matter what mix I'm on, that's going into the matrix mixer along with the tech mic. So I could be on the lead singer's mix and I still have those other six channels of tech mics going into that mix as well. He doesn't hear them, but I'm able to hear them. So no matter where I'm at on the desk or mix wise, I'm hearing what's going on on stage and who needs to get a hold of me. I love using the Midas desk. Love that it's uh, been brought down to where it's affordable for bands that aren't in the budget of the big XL8 and stuff like that. So uh, keep making a great product. Uh, I'll be with this thing until I'm um, done touring. So thanks again, Midas, for everything. Uh, thanks for coming out.